Hindustani Hindi, Hindustani Urdu, Instani is one of the predominant languages of South Asia, with federal status in India and Pakistan in its standardized forms of Hindi and Urdu. It is widely spoken and understood as a second language in Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and the Persian Gulf and as such is considered a lingua franca in the Indian subcontinent. It is also one of the most widely spoken languages in the world by total number of speakers. It developed in North India, principally during the Mughal Empire, when the Persian language exerted a strong influence on the Western Hindi languages of Central India. This led to the creation of Rekta, or mixed speech, which came to be known as Hindustani, Hindi, Hindavi, and Urdu, derived from Zabin i Urdu meaning, language of the horde. This form was elevated to the status of a literary language, and after the partition of British India and independence this collection of dialects became the basis for modern standard Hindi and Urdu. Although these official languages are distinct registers with regards to their formal aspects, such as modern technical vocabulary, they continue to be all but indistinguishable in their vernacular forms. Topic. Formation Most of the grammar and basic vocabulary of Hindustani descends directly from the medieval language of central India, known as Saurasini. After the 10th century, several Saurasini dialects were elevated to literary languages, or Kari Boli, standing dialects including Braj Basha, Awadi and the language of Delhi the latter still goes by the name Kari Boli in the rural areas outside the city of Delhi itself. During the reigns of the Turco-Afghan Delhi Sultanate and the Mughal Empire, where Persian was adopted as the official language and Delhi was established as the capital, the imperial court and concomitant immigration infused the Delhi dialect with large numbers of Persian, Arabic, and Chagatai words from the court. The introduced words were primarily nouns and were employed for cultural, legal and political concepts. The new court language developed simultaneously in Delhi and Lucknow, the latter of which is in an Awadi-speaking area, and thus, modern Hindustani has a noticeable Awadi influence even though it is primarily based on Kari Boli. The term Hindustani is derived from Hindustan, the Persian origin name for the northwestern subcontinent. The term Urdu, or camp language, Cognate with the English word, horde, was used to describe the common language of the Mughal army. The works of the 13th century scholar Amir Khusro are typical of the Hindustani language of the time. The language went by several names over the years, Hindavi, of Hindus or Indians, Dalavi, of Delhi, Hindustani, of Hindustan, and Hindi, Indian. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built a new walled city in Delhi in 1639 that came to be known as Shahjananabad. The market close to the royal fort, the Red Fort, was called Urdu Bazaar, Army Camp Market, from the Turkic word Urdu, Army, and it may be from this that the phrase Zabin e Urdu, the language of the army camp, derives. This was shortened to Urdu around the year 1800. The language spread from the interaction of Persian-speaking Muslim soldiers to the local people who spoke varieties of Hindi. Soon, the Persian script in the cursive Nastaliq form was adopted, with additional letters to accommodate the Indian phonetic system. Large number of Persian words were adopted, as were even grammatical elements such as the enclitic eziaf. The official language of the Ghurids, Delhi Sultanate, the Mughal Empire, and their successor states, as well as their language of poetry and literature, was Persian, while the official language of religion was Arabic. Most of the sultans and the nobility of the Sultanate period were Turkic peoples from Central Asia who spoke Chagatai as their mother tongue. The Mughals were also Chagatai, but later adopted Persian. 
The basis in general for the introduction of Persian language into the subcontinent was set, from its earliest days, by various Persianized Central Asian Turkic and Afghan dynasties. Muzaffar Alam asserts that Persian became the lingua franca of the empire under Akbar for various political and social factors due to its non-sectarian and fluid nature. However, the armies, merchants, preachers, Sufis, and later the court, also incorporated the local people and elements of the medieval Hindu literary language, Braj Basha. This new contact language soon incorporated other dialects, such as Haryanvi, Punjabi, and in the 17th century Kariboli, the dialect of the new capital at Delhi. By 1800, Kariboli had become the dominant base of the language. When Wali Muhammad Wali arrived in Delhi, he established Hindustani with a light smattering of Persian words, a register called Rekta, for poetry. Previously, the language of poetry had been Persian. When the Delhi Sultanate expanded south to the Deccan Plateau, they carried their literary language with them, and it was influenced there by more southerly languages, producing the Dahini dialect. During this time Hindustani was the language of both Hindus and Muslims. The communal nature of the language lasted until the British Raj, when in 1837 Hindustani in the Persian script i.e. Urdu replaced Persian as the official language and was made co-official along with English. This triggered a Hindu backlash in northwestern India, which argued that the language should be written in the native Devanagari script. This literary standard, called simply, Hindi replaced Hindustani, Urdu as the official register of Bihar in 1881, establishing a sectarian divide of Urdu for Muslims and Hindi for Hindus, a divide that was formalized with the independence of India and Pakistan after the withdrawal of the British. <laughs> Poetry The poet Wali Dakani (1667–1707) visited Delhi in 1700. His Rekta or Hindavi Ghazals established Hindustani as a medium of poetic expression in the imperial city. Hindustani soon gained distinction as the preferred language in courts of India and eventually replaced Persian among the nobles. To this day, Rekta retains an important place in literary and cultural spheres. Many distinctly Persian forms of literature, such as ghazals and nuzmas, came to both influence and be affected by Indian culture, producing a distinct melding of Middle Eastern and South Asian heritages. A famous cross-over writer was Amir Khusro, whose Persian and Hindavi couplets are read to this day in the subcontinent. Persian has sometimes been termed an adopted classical language of South Asia alongside Sanskrit due to this role. Topic: Timeline. Topic: Antiquity, Old Indo-Aryan. 600 BCE, Late Vedic Sanskrit. 500 BCE, Prakrit texts of Buddhists and Jains originate Eastern India. 400 BCE, Panini composes his formal Sanskrit grammar Gandhara, reflecting transition from Vedic to formal Paninian classical Sanskrit. 322 BCE, Brahmi script inscriptions by Mauryas in Prakrit Pali. 250 BCE, first records of classical Sanskrit Vidyanath Rao 100 BCE to 100 CE, Sanskrit gradually replaces Prakrit in inscriptions 320, the Gupta or Siddha Matrika script emerges. <laughs> Middle Ages 400, Apabramsha in Kalidas as Vikramarvashiya 
550, Dharasena of Vallabhi's inscription mentions a Papramsha literature. 779, regional languages mentioned by Udyotan Suri in Kuvalayamala. 769, Siddha Sarapa composes Doakish, considered the first Hindi poet. 800, bulk of the Sanskrit literature after this time is commentaries. Vidyanath Rao 933, a Jain text Srivakachar, considered the first Hindi book. 1000 Sandesh Rasik of Abdur Rahman 1100, modern Devanagari script emerges 1145-1229, Hemachandra writes on a Pabramsha grammar. Islamic empires Islamic empires in India in the late medieval to early modern period. 1283, Amir Khusro's Pahalis and Mukharis. Uses term. Hindavi. 1398-1518, Kabir's works mark origin of. Nirguna Bhakti. Period. 1370, love story period originated by Hansavali of Asahat. 1400-1479, Rayu, last of the great Apabramsha poets. 1450, Saguna Bhakti, period starts with Ramananda. 1580, early Dakini work, Kalmital Hikayat, of Burhanuddin Janam. 1585. Bhaktamal. Of Nabadas, an account of Hindi Bhakta poets. 1601. Arda Kathanak by Banarasidas, first autobiography in Hindi. 1604. Adi Granth, a compilation of works of many poets by Guru Aryan Dev. 1532-1623. Tulsidas, author of Ramacharita Manasa. 1623. Gora Badal Ki Katha. Of Jatmal, first book in Kari Boli dialect now the standard dialect. 1643. Riti. Poetry tradition commences according to Ramchandra Shukla. 1645. Shahjanan builds Delhi fort, language in the locality starts to be termed Urdu. 1667 to 1707, Valley's compositions become popular. Urdu starts replacing Persian among Delhi nobility. It is often called Hindi by Sauda, Mir, etc. 1600 to 1825, poets Bihari to Padmakar, supported by rulers of Orcha and other domains. Colonial period Modern Hindi literature emerges during the colonial period. 1796, earliest type-based Devanagari printing John Northwick Gilchrist, Grammar of the Hindustani Language, Calcutta Dick Plucker. 1805, Lalu Lal's Premsagar published for Fort William College, Calcutta Daisy Rockwell. 1813-46, Maharaja Swati Tirunal Rama Varma Travancore composed verses in Hindi along with South Indian languages. 1826. Udanta Martanda. Hindi weekly from Calcutta. 1837, Sharda Ram Falori, author of Om J. Jagdish Hare. Born 1839-1847. History of Hindi Literature, by Garson de Tassi in French, Daisy Rockwell. 1833-86, Gujarati poet Narmad proposed Hindi as India's national language. 1850, the term, Hindi, no longer used for what is now called, Urdu. 1854, Samachar Sudavarshan. Hindi daily from Calcutta 1873, Mahendra Bhattacharya's Padarth Vigyan 
Chemistry in Hindi. 1877, novel Bhagyavati by Sharda Ram Falori. 1886, Bharatandu period of modern Hindi literature starts. 1893 Founding of the Nagari Pracharini Sabha in Benares Daisy Rockwell 1900 Devi period starts Nationalist Writings 1900 Indamati story by Kishori Lal Goswami in Sarasvati 1918 to 1938 Chayavad period 1918 Dakshin Bharat Hindi Prachara Sabha. Founded by Mahatma Gandhi. 1929. History of Hindi Literature. By Acharya Ram Chandra Shukla. 1931. Alam Era. First Hindi talking movie. 1930s. Hindi typewriters. Nagari Lekhan Yantra. Shailendra Mehta. 1936, Kamayani, the most celebrated Hindi epic poem, written by Jayshankar Prasad. Post-partition 1949, Official Language Act makes the use of Hindi in central government offices mandatory. 1949-50, Hindi accepted as the Official language of the Union. In the Constitution. Debates A, B, C. 1952, the Basic Principles Committee of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan recommends that Urdu be the state language. 1958, definition of modern standard Hindi by the Central Hindi Directorate. 1965, opposition to Blind Hindi imposition by Congress. In Tamil Nadu, where Tamil, the predominant Dravidian language, lives, brings Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam DMK to power. Congress lost its base. 1975, English medium private schools start asserting themselves socially, politically, financially. Peter Hook. 1985-6, Devanagari Word Processor, Deviani DTP Software, both from Dataflow. 1987-88, Franz Velthuis creates Devanagari Metafont. Shailendra Mehta. 1990, according to World Almanac and Book of Facts Hindi Urdu has passed English and Spanish to become the second most widely spoken language in the world. Peter Hook. However, this includes all of the Hindi languages, not just Hindustani Hindi Urdu. 1991, ITRANS encoding scheme developed by Avinash Chapta allows Hindi documents in Roman and Devanagari on the Internet. 1997, Prime Minister Dev Gowda emphasizes promotion of Hindi and the regional languages, having himself learned Hindi recently. 1997, Hindi newspaper Nai Dunia on the web January or was Mylap first. 1998, Thiru Karanadi, the DMK leader, recites a Hindi verse during a political campaign, indicating a change in views. 2002, Bollywood gaining international popularity and growing is a growing industry. The languages used in Bollywood cinema is a blend of Urdu and Hindi, and is what in large defines the way both languages are spoken today. See also Linguistic history of the Indian subcontinent Hindustani etymology List of Urdu writers